Do you have burning questions about a contract for deed or rent to own if you're considering one? Well, if you don't, you should. But here's your lucky strike. This is Mary Jo with H360 Homes, and I am here with Phaedra Howard of Helmuth & Johnson. She has 15 years working with Helmuth & Johnson solely on real estate. And we're going to talk about the difference between rent to own, contract for deed, what you need to know, rights and obligations. Good. Thank you so much for letting me invade your territory today. <laughs> and people don't really understand the difference between a contract for deed and rent to own and what it really is. So can you explain to us rent to own, what are their rights and what are their obligations? Yep. So a rent to own is really you're a, you're a tenant. It's a landlord tenant relationship with an option. Um, and so you have the option to purchase at some point. Uh, that option needs to be put in writing um, and it's signed at the time that the option is given. It's recorded in the property records. Um, it sets forth the price and the other terms of which that renter can then purchase the property the timeline of when they have to exercise that option and that sort of thing. Um, so unless they exercise it, they are a tenant, that's it. So they are um, not the owner of the property, mm -hmm. they don't have any rights as an owner of the property, they only have tenants' rights. 